Hi there, we're going to talk about the Marquee Tool. We're in a series um, where I am showcasing the selection tools. And the selection tools in Elements can be found mostly right here under Select, which is funny that Move Tool, it does select things in a way, but the selection tools we're talking about are the Marquee, Lasso, and then inside of the Quick Selection one, we've got Quick Select, Selection Brush, and Magic Wand, which we'll talk about next. But what I wanted to talk about today was the marquee tool. With the marquee tool, you have the elliptical marquee and you have the rectangular marquee. And I'm just going to turn this off. So here we have an image straight out of camera. And this is from Susan from uh, Lily Fields Photography. A gorgeous picture, and I love it. This is straight out of camera. And if I just want to give a little more emphasis to the subject and to the feathers she's blowing, or, or whatever that fluff is, I called it in the in the tutorial, then I can use the marquee tool. I'm going to use the elliptical this time for her. But if we wanted to use the rectangular just to create a, a, a border along the edges, we could do that. When you are using a selection tool, you have the choice of one selection, multiple, or add to selection, subtract from the selection, and then we've got intersect. But with, let's just use the new selection. And if we have a feather of zero, I'm going to go through and do an example real quick. And see, and it creates a rectangle, or it can do a square, a square, and any shape you want of a um, of that sort. So I'm going to do an adjustment layer by clicking on the circle that's half black, half white. If you're in Photoshop or an older version of Elements, it's, it's going to be at the bottom when you're in the layers panel. And I'll just do a brightness and contrast. Don't do anything with it. I can even exit out. Like I didn't touch it, did I? There's nothing there. I'm going to come to where it says normal and click on that word normal and go down to the multiply blend mode. And now we have a very two things going on wrong. We have a very, very defined start and stop and we also have the wrong area highlighted. If I do Command I, or on a PC, Control I, I as in invert I, ice cream, then what it'll do is, is uh, flip it so that the multiply blend mode is outside the selection area. So we've just we've we have we've told elements no we don't want to we don't want to mess with the what's inside the selection we want to look at what's outside the selection. If you remember when I introduced the selection series, I said usually you're gonna you know focus on the in what's inside the selection. Sometimes I do want to focus on what's outside the selection, and that is when we can just do Command I or Control I. But again, what's wrong with this picture is we have too much of a start and stop. There are times when this works great, this is what I want. Not necessarily for a portrait, but for other things, this would be good. And there are so many different uses for the marquee tool. I can only really focus on this one right now. And that is creating the vignette, that's what we're doing. So I'm just gonna hide this. And now let's create a feather of like 95. And we'll do the same thing. Now the feather has to come first. You can't create your selection, then change your feather. It's not gonna work that way. You'll notice too now that we've got rounded borders. And we'll just do the same thing. Oh, yeah. Do create an adjustment layer. And I can exit out of that. And we're going to change the blend mode by clicking on normal, going down to multiply. Again, it darkened the area inside because usually when you select and change something, it's going to change what's inside the marching ants. But we're going to invert it, Command I, Control I. And now we have a we have a blended area from where it isn't the vignette is not and where the vignette is. And if we lower down the layer opacity, we hard we can't even tell it's there, can we? When you turn it off, you can. So let's just get rid of those. And we're going to do the elliptical. So now with the elliptical, why I wanted to show you this one is because we're going to do the multiple um, areas. We're going to select multiple areas. The first area, and I'm going to keep my feather about 120, 
or you could do 95 would be fine too. And I'm just going to select her right there. Just click and drag out. And once you've done that, you can, if it's on just one, you can move it around. See that? I can move it around. But I can't make it bigger, but I can add to it. So now I want to add this area right here. So I can just click and add that. And see how it brought it together? And if I wanted even more, I could just click and add more to it like that. But let's say that's what I want. Now we'll create the adjustment layer, brightness and contrast. Don't need to do anything to it. Change it to multiply. Again, it darkened that inside area. We're going to do Command I or Control I. We're going to lower it down. I lowered down the layer opacity to about 36%. Before and after. So it just kind of focuses our eye on her a little bit more and on what she's blowing. Just draws our eyes to, to the center, towards her. Um, and that's just about all there is I was going to show about the uh, marquee tool. I was going to show you these here. This is Photoshop. <clears throat> this is a screen print from Photoshop. And the marquee tool is right here. If you click and drag out, you'll see the different options. Your feather is right at the top. And then we can do add to selection, subtract from selection. Here's uh, a screen print from the tutorial. So this is no feather. And that is a feather of about 90%. And that's before I even lowered the layer opacity. Now this is a rectangular one. Can you tell? See that? That's where I used a rectangular one. I didn't realize I'd done a screen print of the wrong step. So anyway, but um, there you have it. And um, enjoy.